single mother working, struggling, and still I've got nothing. Before I get my wages, they're already spent. I can't get housing benefit, but I can't afford the rent on a property that will never be an investment. I'm tired of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Once again, I can only receive incoming calls. So today, Thursday, the 3rd of October, it's National Poetry Day. So it's uh, always the first Thursday in October, so it always clashes with Goose Fair, but we always make sure that those of us that prefer poetry are here and not there. Okay, so the um, theme, it has a different theme every year, and this year's theme is truth. And so we've added in there the truth and dare. So you've each got postcards on your chair, um, and that's for you to write anything, even if you've just got a word or a sentence, or if you've got some bars or a verse, or whatever you like to call it, put those down, put them, pin them up on there, and then we're going to have a go at, at reading them back, collecting them and doing something with it, and then reading it back um, as a piece or a group thing or, you know, wh whatever we can do without it as we go along. Um, I've seen some faces before. If you don't know me, my name's Michelle Hubbard, Michelle Mother Hubbard, and I've been doing poetry for probably about 30 years, and I run a spoken word event in Nottingham called Black Drop, but we're on a little bit of a break at the minute because we're finding a venue. But um, And it's for anything to do with spoken word, poetry, lyrics, emceeing, storytelling, comedy, spitting, whatever you want to call it. So um, I wrote one this afternoon. I was trying to find something that I'd already got. And then I thought, let me have a go at just scribbling a few things with what was in my mind at the time. And I've also wrote one as I've been listening to what people are saying. So this one, it's just called The Truth. I'm going to have to put a pen up because I've realised I don't like the order it's in. So I'm going to go backwards and forwards a little bit. So the truth. Janos, swear down, cross my heart, straight up, on the levels for real. Keeping it real. It's the truth, trust me. Truth is, this is just what it is. To tell you the truth, there's no proof that any of this exists. What's true for you today may not be true for you tomorrow. So which path do you follow? My phone's broke, though. I was going to phone you like a week ago, though. Give you a call. My open book, Let Truth Shine in Dark Places. Steps covered in music. I'm just finishing my food. Why didn't you finish your food before, though, bro? Let's get the party started. Free Costa in coffee. Free coffee in Costa. So says Lem Sisse. Poems and plays and two cups of tea. Graffiti, drawing truth, it sets me free with ink or paint or digitally. So let your lyrics free. Let's speak the truth. <laughs> the next person up is Ravel. Put your hands together, stamp your feet, but don't lie on the bookshelves. Here's Ravel. My words may not conform to your norm. They may not follow a particular form. They may not transform a morning into a beautiful break of dawn. But when I perform, my words are nothing but eloquent. It's evident that I don't need to use prose or haikus to speak my truth. So excuse me. If I don't pronounce my words properly, it's the knots in me. These words are knots in me. And they're waiting to be detangled. It's important that we hold the candle to lead the way to dismantle the system in which we've become entangled, making us examples. Showing how docile we can really be by teaching us that we need degrees to really see. That there's a war and we're still in slavery. Because you can't think a thought accurately if you don't have the right vocabulary. They pass laws so some couldn't read. Now we can see to teach our seeds that it isn't cool to read. Which means it isn't cool to talk. Don't share uneducated thoughts because you may just break down doors that were unknown to you before. You may just be the diamond in the dirt that discovers its worth and starts to polish itself. Thank you. <laughs> we often mistake self-love for selfish. Conditioned to be the genie granting everyone else's wish. Always the one boosting everyone else. Always the one doubting yourself. But once they're fulfilled back in the lamp, you go. Filled with insecurities you're too afraid to show. But for a quick fix of validation, you can get it from likes. Not a true representation of if you're actually liked. 
or if you like yourself as a matter of fact, but on social media it's easier to act. But that further isolates you. Everyone thinks your life is perfect. And showing unfiltered feelings may lead to a loss of respect, so you sit in your bubble, stressed, depressed, can't even get dressed, becoming social media obsessed, a place where you can live your best life through your device, away from real eyes, the perfect disguise, but you still want to scream, search for the perfect meme to show them that it isn't what it seems, wake them up from this dream that you created, filter-aided, looking back on pictures half-naked where you felt degraded but loved the status of your notifications. Phones blowing up, but it isn't real love, just guys that want to f so now you feel stuck, defined by your looks, being misunderstood. Become one of those bad, hoping for some recognition, but this kind of recognition isn't what you envisioned. Trying to look good for everyone else. Sacrificing yourself, diminishing your health in the pursuit of wealth. The only opinion you need to value is yours. Looking to others for the cure will always leave you needing more validation, leading to stagnation, internal starvation, lowering your vibrations. Lauren said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. Thank you for sticking with me, guys. <laughs> Thank you to Ravel. Give her an extra round of applause, please. Thank you. We appreciate it. It does take a lot to get up. And I think sometimes if you wrote something, and even you might not think, it might not include the word truth all the way through, and it might not be the title, and you might not think it's, it fits. But when you're writing about things that you've experienced or that's happened to you, and you're speaking your truth, that is still, you know, it's relevant. It fits in. Because that's what it's all about. And that's one thing that poetry does for us and for the listener. It's you speaking your truth and people can relate to it and you can connect with it. And through poetry, it's like one word, one verse, one sentence in there might connect with one person in a way that could change their day, for the evening, for the difference, even their life. Um, so next up, we've got another local from Nottingham. I hope he is now said that. Begins with a H, just to let him know that he's about to get called up. I think he's doing one poem. He might be doing two. He might be flowing. He might just get him loads. Put your hands together for Harry. I'm, I'm from Nottingham, don't worry. I'm from Nottingham. Uh, yeah, so Jay only asked me last week to perform here. Um, told me to prepare a short poem about my truth. Um, but the hardest bit about getting this ready was that he told me I can't swear. So, yeah. <laughs> I saw life as a gift and a blessing. Everyone else was fighting and contesting. No surprise that I was finding it testing. Kind of wanted to fit in and be a cool kid. But in my heart, I couldn't break the rules. It seems silly now. But in all my years, the thing I've found is you can do your thing, not make a sound. Don't chase beef or crave the pound. But still, somehow, you don't make it out that mindset. That you need other people's approvals. You think you need your life checked. But being alive is the biggest life check. Cash in every day and you'll stand times test. Because there's times test, I stress. And make a mess of the bed inside my head. Then I find it impossible to rest. But it's possible to change. You don't have to do the same every day. Take a pic so you feel okay. Go out at the weekends not to see friends. Everyone wants to be the face of the weekend. If you need your ego stroked, you're at the weekend. Because as the week ends, who's going to be comfy in the deep end? Mind over matter, just like Bruce Lee said. I'm on life's journey and I've learnt that I need friends. Truth is essential, so I'll watch what my speech says. From my perspective, I swear that life seems blessed. These lessons make us grow, because as humans, we need tests. Thank you. Today's National Poetry Day. The theme is truth, truth and dare. So you can stay and have a listen or you can drop in or you might think, oh, I've got something that might be a bit of an open mic or you might think I'm not staying, but I've seen some postcards around and I want to write a few words or sentences on the postcards that will be added to this board and then your words will be included in the poem that we do um, later from as a result of it. So before we get the next person up, you've got to be able to say when you go home, I performed at the library tonight, even if you didn't get up here. So to make that happen, we're going to get everybody down this side to shout truth, and then everybody down this side to shout dare, and we'll do it three each side, so truth, dare, and that's it. It's not quite a bar, is it? Come on, I'm not like you. I don't know how many a bar is. I do. I'm just styling it. Okay, but we'll go. All right, loud as we can. all right there you performed <laughs> at nottingham central life so you can go home update your status yeah i performed at the library this evening you know yeah just like 
spat a few words. Well, you did. You're cool. Okay, so next up. Jay. 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 Yeah, I was a part, asked to be a part of this project. Um, I actually enjoy doing poetry, so I was quite interested. I actually have two different poems. So I'll do the first one, which is a part of the displays in the art. Do you follow your truth, or do you dare to be normal? Do you know what you saw, or do you see what you choose to? Can you walk on your own, or do you need someone to view you? Do you follow your truth, or do you dare to be normal? Thank you. Woo! Yeah, that one's just meant to be a short poem um, to kind of explore like to do the same with your topic, whether or not you're doing stuff because you want to or because society is making you. Um, my other one is more about personal truth um, and how we look at it. Truth is, we don't know what the truth is. We just search for our worth while we're watching others till it hurts ourselves to be ourselves, trying to see the bottom from the top of a drying well when really we dug the hole and wanted someone else's help to take the steps and get us out, but really they the one winning if they laid the path. So I'm on a yellow brick road, doing shows to keep it warm at home. I'm in the stew to get some voices know my people pushing buttons and they did it on their own team real strong. I just need two sugars and the cream to mix it all down. More stages on the go and more problems than I know so I can learn to grow. Neon with the glow, but these lamps don't blow because the truth is, if you know what the truth is, you just find a new reason to live, so. With each interaction we question to refine and perfect a method that gets a success rate acceptable to what we find preferable. Then we make associates that's credible. While the truth changes like a decibel due to causalities and variables. And that's just take, scraping the tip of the proverbial iceberg with some nice words when really the truth is we're just skeptics due to prior knowledge with a desire to adjudicate on every judgment. Considering each mistake regression caught up in the social tensions because we can't figure out what the truth is. Thank you very much. And words take shape in many forms. So as well as the spoken word tonight, and I'm sure you've all got words and thoughts and lyrics going around your head, we've also got some words taking shape visually. We've got our in-house graffiti artist um, penciling away at the back there. Joe, Ch uh, I forgot your name, two Johnny, two pe is it two pens or two pence? Two pence. Bless him. We're going to have to up that, aren't we, with inflation. Inflation. It's going to have to be J Johnny five pence or 50 cents. I like it. <laughs> we're going to have to put a hat out on the table and you're going to have to flick some money for him in bless. So he's, uh, he's drawing the truth and dare. So we've actually got words taking shape as we, um, as we go. So before we bring the next person up again, I just think just to liven it up again, we're just going to go, we're going to switch it this time. This is going to really confuse you because we're going to say truth on this side and dare on that side. I don't know if you can manage such a big change, but we're going to go for it because this is not yet. We can do this. we got this. Here we go. You're getting there, you're getting there. We're going to get your peer kind of on a bouncing thing with this soon. Brilliant. Make some noise as he spits his truth. Put your hands together. Stamp your feet. Bit louder. Let's bring on to the stage Bakes. Um, I haven't done poetry in many, many years, uh, but hopefully enjoy it. This one's called Do You Dare? So do you dare to imagine a reality that accepts all people regardless of their salary, colourful sexuality, colour or nationality, relative sanity or political mentality, see? True freedom ain't an excess of wealth. True freedom means knowledge and health. True freedom leads to more knowledge of self. True freedom means you ain't stuck on a self. So are you pretty? Are you rich? Are you real? Are you a snitch? Are you a pop star? Are you singing out a pitch? Are you real? Are you on road? Are you a snake? Have you got a code? Does your mental feel light or is that a heavy load? Let me ask you, of yourself are you aware? What's your reason for speaking truth? Is it a dare? Are your demons creeping through? Should I be scared? Are you really seeking truth? Or do you dare, do you dare, do you dare to think beyond the boundaries of society and ask yourself what isn't really fair? Do you dare, do you dare to question whether you'd respect the woman that you like before you two become a pair? Do you dare, do you dare to find your own truth? Will you think for yourself or do you even really care? Do you dare, do you dare 
Do you dare, do you dare, do you dare? Thank you. My truth is, which is not a very, very nice truth, me and my youngest son don't get on, I wish we did. It's one of those things that it breaks my heart, but it's just the way it is. It's like for some reason we don't connect, even though he means everything to me. And every night I sort of either say a little prayer, I hope he's all right, and because he chooses not to have contact with me, which hurts, you know. But I, I respect that that's, that's where he's at. But all the years since he was a baby, I've wrote poems about him because he's just this magical thing. You know, he's my son, he's my king, and I know he has to survive and live in St. Anne's and we live in Nottingham. We go through, you know, I know the stress that happens out there. But I know as young people, you think that parents are green and you know, they don't know what they're on about and you can't talk to them. And as parents, we just think we just wish you'd talk to us. We understand it's not easy out there. Of course, as a mum, you're going to have to say, don't do this, but it's like, you know, we know. And so... Um, it's a good joke, these men. Mum, what are you telling them now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I won't say this. But there's um, one particular one that it doesn't. It's not about truth, but it's you know my truth. Trying to survive as a mum, and trying to stand by. See, I see you all in the audience. I want to get all deep now, and you'll be like kicking me out. But it's like you're all. It's like you feel like my sons. Do you know what I mean? I care. I can see like here we go. Mm, bloody old girl. <laughs> I do, you watch. I am going to so come and give you a hug in a while now, you've rolled your eyes. What? <laughs> Sorry, it's the mum in me. I'll calm down. Shall I, shall I, do you need one now? Could, could, could you be my, what, ab what about if I'm not all right right now? What about if I need a hug now, even if you don't? Is it, has he got that for me? Rico, it's like, you know when your truth is, you hurt and you just think, my son won't hug me. No, if I, this is the truth, by the way, this is the truth. If I brush past my son now to hug him, what are you doing, man? So what I mean, just come out. And I, you're just so you know, just leave me. And I think, gosh. So I'm sure you wouldn't do that, would you? If I, let's just have a, could you just like pretend you're passing me? Come on, Rico. Just, Rico, this is my truth. I'm like, oh. So I'm going to pass you and pretend I'm on the way to the kitchen. And I'd like you not to go, what are you doing, man? Because I, I'd need some warmth. So come on, we're passing each other on the way to the kitchen, lot. Go on, Rika. <sighs> I'm going to fill up, by the way, I warn you. So I'm just brushing past with you a cup in the way to the kitchen. Morning, son. <laughs> That's what I get all the time. Uh, but, but now, though, are we, now can I get the version that would? Morning, son. Morning. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> You see, that's beautiful. I dared him. He, li he lived up to the day. That was my truth. That was beautiful. I'm adopting him. I don't care. Watch. Watch. He's adopted now. And I hope you did your homework before you came out. Okay, so we're about to read your poem that you've created. So thank you, everybody, for contributing, because no matter how big or small, uh, it's nice that we've got it here. What I'll do afterwards is type this up and um, get it over to Joe, and I don't know whether it can be displayed somewhere or emailed. Or actually, I'm pretty sure the library, once we've um, got this typed up, we'll, we'll put it up there so you can see um, what we've created. So... I'm going to try and keep it flowing a bit as best I can as I read it. If I can't see a word, what it says, or what I, I, I can't clear what I think it is, I'll just say what I think it is. So forgive me if you're thinking, that's not what it said there. You know, soon I'll be pausing for ages and doing that. So to, yeah. 
for flow's sake, I'll say what I think it means if I can't tell it. Yeah, that might be. Thank you. Yeah, that. Well, actually, and this this is my book. Yeah, if you. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's called truth. The sun will rise in the morning, the moon at night. So wrong or right, I will fight with all my might to stand tall, never crawl, to answer my inner call. I dare you to live that truth that you feel when you're in bed alone at night. Because you'll never walk alone. Imagine, believe, achieve. Dare you to tell the truth. Today, decide which card you want to play. Pain, real morals, truth from the heart. Dare to own your truth, let yourself loose. Honesty, pain, passion, accuracy. Feelings, football, courage, pain and power. I dare you to tell the truth. Feelings of truth, you, honest passion, loyal, genuine, self-evident. I wanted to walk to work in the library. It was a great, real step to my sobriety. The public blow had hot. The public blow hot and cold. This story continues to unfold. The truth is. I despise social media, but I'm already hooked on this generation's drug where I can't keep away from it. Love and peace and equality are part of it. I'd rather choose dare over telling the truth because in my world, the truth isn't always what people want to hear. Truth is, it's not always the answer. We wish we knew the truth, but most of the truth is not something we actually want to deal with. Knowing the truth is a comfort we think we need, but yet probably truth we accept only truth. We allow, uh, we allow ourselves to believe or change to suit or our what we want to be, our lives lived. The truth is I would like to become a footballer, but that's at some stage. Time, I believe, I've got to work harder. Therefore, everything is goals in life. Truth hurts, so I like to lie to make it easier on others. I'm lied to because it's easier than for them. Easier than to be honest. I don't dare to question them. No one likes to be called a liar. But the truth hurts, so let's just keep lying with care. Pain. Sometimes the truth is difficult to hear. Be brave and speak and listen. I dare you to be successful. That's your opinion. Thank you. So hopefully... Um, just a little tip for you if, you if you do write or you don't write or you're thinking about writing one I've, I've done loads of workshops over the 30 years and some have been amazing some have been life-changing some I've walked away thinking why did I do that but one of the most important ones was somebody said to me if you love spoken word and you believe in spoken word you can read your shopping list and make it sound deep so it's just a matter of it's only kind of if you pause and you stop but even if at home you write a list of things that mean something to you but you read it past you read it back with belief and intent it will be a good poem because you believe in the words and I believed in everything you all said there it's beautiful okay so next up phone list running order it's me next up <laughs> oh i'm so glad that she knows that she's up next stamp your feet hit your chairs kick the floor kick your fingers make some noise for jess evening folks um for those of you who don't know me i am jesse or also known as jessence rebel poet I rant and I know it, no filter, just say it. Um, I have written a piece for this evening um, where I've like kind of faced my own truth, but I do write a lot about political stuff as well. So I'm going to do um, a poem called Fake first. If we were all the same, 
the world would be a boring place. I wish some women would work on their minds the way they contour their face, obsessed with fakery and fame rather than feeding their brain with the abundance of wisdom that theirs to gain. Instead, they embrace becoming vain, playing with their natural beauty like a game. Media influencers are driving me insane, making people believe they've got to look a certain way. Do not delay to put makeup on your face. Buy all the latest trends. Have fillers and surgery. There's always a way if you're not happy. Pay a price and change anything on your body. Why has this become a normality? Shouldn't it be seen as an atrocity that we're not taught to embrace our own unique beauty? It's a disgrace until you realize the profit the beauty industry makes, influencing women to look a certain way. And now even men can't get away from this pressure to look a certain way. Obsessed with your face, hair and clothes, constantly inflating your own ego. You're lost in the agenda, self-obsessed, unwilling to surrender your mind to another way of thinking. A fashion is knowledge you should be drinking. The time you take to look pristine could be used to build your visions and dreams, strengthen your heart, mind and soul, feed your brain, make some goals, instead of concentrating on looking like a doll. Were your eyebrows drawn on with Crayola? I don't mean to offend, I'm just intrigued. What color is your face underneath? I have to make jokes. Some of you really do look like makeup covered blokes. Stop taking ignorance to the extreme and realize there's so many secrets to be seen. If you look deep within, you would see that life is breathtaking. Connected to one and all nature's roots, research organs looking like fruits, sip on knowledge and wisdom's juice, dig up the dirt of human truth, Stir the soup of secret societies. Throw caution to the wind and go and research the world that we are living in. The government and its puppeteers, the Rockefellers and their peers, the Rothschild dynasty, the private banking industry, the global New World Order conspiracy. You may tell me I'm crazy, but until you've done your research, I will presume that you're culturally conditioned or you've got cognitive dissonance mixed with Stockholm syndrome. If you don't understand my vocabulary, I suggest you invest in a dictionary. Go research true history. Trust me, it's a mystery. Censored by whatever country tells you their story. Government's been rewriting history for centuries. Don't believe me, go see for yourself. What will you choose, the red or blue pill? Thank you. So the poem I wrote for tonight, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared about doing it, but I'm gonna face my truth. I buried my truth deep in the dirt. The truth is, the truth hurt. Pain served over and over again. Brain function chained, changed, reaction delayed until PTSD took over me. A chamber once hidden so deep in my brain until I was chained, locked away, hiding daily from the trauma haunting me. But I set myself free, dug deep, realized what was hiding underneath. Strength growing, roots running deep, grounding me in solidarity of who I'm truly meant to be. Dirty truths, abuse on top of abuse, drowning in truth that makes me feel dirty. They hurt me, but they did not stunt my growth. For from the foulest manure blossoms the most beautiful roses. Petals blooming, opening and awakening, possibilities never ending thorns protecting the strength and beauty of a rose grown and blossomed from the dirtiest of truths the human propensity for abuse so don't prune me don't use me don't cut me down or organize me in a vase let me grow wildly on your lawn 
Let me wither and die, come back to life. Let me show my thorns with pride because my truth is dirty, but it doesn't make me less worthy. Truths rooted deeply. Mud sticks. So I grew rose bushes instead. And when my thorn pricks you, the dirty truth will fill your head. I hope you're ready to face your fears. Truth and dirt always resurface. So dare to dig up your dirt. Dare to face your truth. Sorry, dare to face your hurt. Dare to accept your truth, even when it's dirty. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jess. It is hard to get up and share our truths. I think sometimes there's something that's quite freeing about doing that, and I think it does help other people as well, so thank you. Um, next up. Make some noise, put your hands together for Aisha. <laughs> Apologies for that. <laughs> but yeah, um, Jay asked me to write a poem. So this is my truth, I'm not gonna. It's a bit, um, it's mixed, it's about social media today and certain things that occur today that I don't particularly agree with. Um, my truth is daring, therefore I dare you to tell your truth, but it has to be authentic nothing like it's not something that's made up or brand new because something made up is so boring people making up stuff they can't do in reality it's only the makeup on their own lives covering their own brutal truth the truth is so bliss and beautiful as it's something you can't change people dare each other to do undaring shit just for humility and fame i dare you to be straight up not to put up a front i dare you to do stuff for yourself not to do things you know people want if so, you may as well be in an antique shop collecting dust off the shelves. The truth is you don't know who you are because that's not what gets likes. In fact, you live for socials, being broke and still partying through nights. You're going home in the cold shaking, but it's okay though because you got a pick for the gram half naked. Now, my mum always told me that my body's a temple, therefore I'm going to look after that well because my shit's sacred. Now, I dare people to delete materialistic things, socials, even famous people too, because without that, they have nothing in life. They barely have a clue. You see, it's mad because they wouldn't dare be spontaneous and explore nature out of the blue. But who blames them? You'd do the same thing if logging into an app paid you to. Now, the truth is, being loyal is unexpected, but cheating is expected. Now, I dare you to send a picture to this boy you don't even know. Now you're having sex just because his penis is erected. Now, will I dare someone to build a time machine? Shit, take me straight back to the 90s, sipping Kool-Aid in the sun, because I highly despise this generation I've been forced into. Girls literally having youths them just for fun. Now, I dare you to tell your truth, because the truth is you're not really ready for mine. So I dare you to be truthful. Trust me, baby, I got time. That's my, my phone. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I need to give this back. There you go. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you for that. It does take a lot to get up and read in front of people or memorise. And again, sorry, I don't know. I, I'm thinking it says, is it Kenzie? Is there a Kenzie? Have I said that wrong? Kenzie, Kens. Put your hands together. Make some noise. Truth, dear. <laughs> Truth, dear. Truth, dear. Truth, dear. Truth, dear. Truth, dear. Dare you. How you feeling, everybody? I'm going to do a little something a bit different. Well, I'm not at first. I'm going to do a poem at first because, you know, that's what we're here for. But I feel like um, I'm going to give you like a little bit of music to chill to. Is that okay? No, I need more energy than that. Is that okay? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So the first one is, right, destined for the struggle, born a stereotype. Peddling different levels of medallion grain. Following the leader, that's free blind mice. Can't see many options, I need lifelines. I've designed to make mine stretch like elastic. When life gives you hurdles, do gymnastics. Life is a game, dare to contrast it. Our three, our three stripes the same when worn or scratched in. The laws attracting, but wars where it really goes down. You a pawn or king when you are. Did it all to ascend to the ground. When you fall, who's really around? Now I feel more questions than I have answers. 
or the winners brave or they take their chances. Hate feeds hate and it grows like cancers. Fam can be nuclear like the Mansons. Standard is what you learn and observe. I bet my steps are different from yours were pushed to the top or fill the roster. Could I dare to switch up my posture? Stick breaks, bones and stones can hurt, but somebody close just died from words. Brick meets bones and makes work. We lobsters in the kitchen and the pot's gonna burst. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Step through to create the spark. Next move, tip two. Had a change of heart. Girl move like razor sharp. Hey, madam, let me see what kind of waves you're on. Say we're gone, no, we're gone. To the place you want. Pay for done, no, we jump. Get our razors on. Switch keys like changing font. Victory, he makes me run. With me like a free base jumper. With me like free base drop. Simply been friends and tunes. We taste like juicy fruit. Some things I can boast to do, but no ego boost to prove. Come cheer what the you produce. Come on, you are super cute. Come cheer what do you produce, come by you on super cute Fully feeling free, running seas, hey yeah. Rolling with the tree, follow me, hey yeah. Kill another bee, I'm a beast, hey yeah. Nothing could defeat Nothing can defeat ya yeah. I don't roll with no empathy Cause I'm molding my energy No control, I'm a centerpiece My console is my inner peace Sympathy, getting on my level Cutting off strings, Geppetto Good boy, right, I better bring it to a circle Cause the Lord can't get a better Look, clock, vessel, nestle Here between the puzzle of a Fully getting lit, drunk, pulling on a Another getting twist cause I'm vibes in And I'm feeling like the king, Poseidon Top three times in, Trident Can't change how your vibrate, stay silent Going on a tirade, Liverpool tyrant I'm the light the space and the colors vibrant. I'm the light in the space and the colors vibrant. Fully feeling free, running scenes, hey ya. Rolling with a tree, follow me, hey ya. Kill another bee, I'm a beast, hey ya. Nothing can defeat, nothing can defeat ya. Thank you. I was Kenzie. Nice to meet you all. It was nice to mix it up. It's nice to have the lyrics with the music. Because, uh, you know, sometimes when I do workshops or performances, you can go places and they'll say, like, don't say poetry. Whatever you do, don't say poetry. It's scare them off. Say lyrics, say words, say the don't say poetry. So it's nice that we can have poetry and lyrics. Okay. So um, next up, make some noise. Obviously, homegrown local talent. B-Tone. I don't know where I'm looking. So I don't know who B-Tone is. I only tell the truth to find the light start there and I stand behind that line like a pub darts player you ain't quite aware but neither am I I do a show and then I blend into the background and I lost too much in my life to back down went from class clown to mash round the back now I'm on the sofa like, suppose this is where I dose tonight. Sober life, city kids living in the countryside. Just trying to make sure that my grandma and mum's nice. But see, this music in my souls, and it's holding. Out in my nine fives and the track is with a hole in. But if time is money, then I haven't got a lot left. I'm obsessed and to defeat the object. Nobody sees that monster within like the Loch Ness. Yo, see I got big issues, selling out on the street. No big issues, I need bigger shoes for my feet. Drowsy, head is cloudy, hoping my grandma looks down on me proudly. But them thoughts locked away so deep, bars can't get them out of me. My stomach hurting, my heart is racing. Man love pigs like they're Kermit. <laughs> now they're chasing, she. <coughs> Mr. Brown, small circle, no browning. With my brother, the only one who got the brown in the brand. Mad twat, I spend the money like I have that. Walking like Frank in the Rat Pack. But I'm lost, and that's that. So... Yeah, <laughs> that's my poetry, isn't it? I'm from Derby, by the way, don't judge. Peter. Uh, I can do another one. No longer live my life off the might of others' words to try and impress them. Could have got me depressed and forgot my worth of a human being. Mumps seeing the ceiling, drugs and booze creeping to becoming my only means of breathing. Cause being me weren't appealing. Unless I was stealing, steaming, fiending, listening to my demons, sleeping on ecstasy cause fuck dreaming. I thought I'd be deceased by 20, then I nearly died at 19. But now I'm 21 and over a year I've been clean. 
Used to work four nine to fives to pay off a fine and benefit others' lives, but what about mine? Freestyling at my break time, seeing these other rappers shine like shit. Man, I've got them similar rhymes, so why am I here? Stuck in the rears, though, yeah, because I committed a crime. The no one lost one from me, though. How does that justify? Am I really a gem in the dirt or just a guy pissed and high? Using drugs and alcohol was an acceptable form of suicide. But don't cry, don't cry. That's the truth of it. Overusing cocaine, should have blue chronic. But then where's the escape and who's got it? My boy didn't care if I stopped doing drugs because he'd lose profit. Sitting in the living room, inhaling the fumes. My mind don't need your ease because of the weed I consumed. I'm surrounded by food, but none of it edible. Surrounded by pills, but none of it medical. Surrounded by who? Nothing but general criminals in the eyes of the federal Cause cats lead the war to the source that fed them all Now fracture my boy's school like that was sensible So god damn it, god bless you all I'ma be a popular loner if that ever makes sense at all But if it doesn't, it doesn't have to Just know I need to care for myself for who it affects to set an example If you wanna change you can do it, always do what you plan to Cause now I'm centre stage, I smell the envy from the back room But they'd rather smell MD off my key in the bathroom but I said I'd take that car that I stopped to And I told my mum that that would all change and that I stopped to So middle finger to any problem with me because that's just you I know so much about this pain, strain and anguish So I'm trying to learn about good views But now it's been a year since my mum shed tears Claiming she wants the sun back, she lost the drugs and beer End of my life was near, that was what she feared Wondering how she failed, her son's on bail Going to jail if his name ain't clear But now it's been a few weeks since grandma's been at peace But she knew that she could leave because I changed her time It's meant to be, be to earn Thank you very much, peace Wow, thank you. That was powerful. It's nice, as I say, and it, it does take a lot of bravery to get up and speak your truth. I love that. It's made me want to do one of my hype poems now. It's like I'm all uh, like, it's, it's making me feel like it's a battle, and I want to just get in there. Phone connected to my ear, microwaves make my brainwave disappear, physically pushing me further. Back off, don't push me. I'm capable. Well, it's not me next, is it? Okay. <laughs> so I was just getting into one of my flows then. I'm just like, I'm on it now. Oh, do you want some more? Do you want some more? Can I go with that one? Physically pushing me further, back off, don't push me, I'm capable of murder. Shoelaces and done, because I haven't got time to be tying up this life of mine. I find it too interactive. If life is just interactive, then watch it if you're sexually active. Overdub far too many times, feedback seeps through the diseased rhymes. Yo, pull up your zip, mate, I don't like what I've seen. You need to see a doctor, get yourself some cream. There's more to life than dipping it. Pass me a contract, I'm ripping it, because I can't be bought and I can't be sold. I want to roll deep like roll deep roll. Funny. We don't do this for money, but the expressions on your face are sweeter than honey. And the buzz that we get when we're hyped on stage, delivering it live to you straight off page. I'm wired up, psyched up, mic'd up. I'm so sharp, my vibe's caught. I'm electromagnetically, telekinetically, psychosomatically hyped up. Yeah. Thank you. I just I had to do that. I wanted to say brap, brap and all that, but I'm a bit too old for that. So, I, all right, I'll chill. Okay, I'll chill. Gosh, it's open mic now. Anybody feeling hyped up and want to take the mic up? Yeah. Hyped up, take the mic up. True for dear, does anyone care? Don't just let me stand here. I'm having to free flow. Oh, okay. Make some noise. Here we go. Oh, I'm so hyped now. I feel some more on the way. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. So, hi everyone. My name's Ellie. Um, I've written a couple of these poems yesterday, just in time for this event. So. Uh, they're not as deep as some of, uh, and meaningful as some of the poems this evening, but I hope you enjoy them nonetheless. So this is just a short one called Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare, who really cares? You won't play fair or tell bugbears. Would rather fall and hope they buy it. Don't reveal all, you stay quiet. Truth is easier to twist, to make up words, to pass a fist. What lies beneath what really happened, they can't prove it and you're still laughing. This one I've written because I thought it was a bit relevant in uh, today's age of fake news. So it's called fake news. So searching, in the tr uh, searching for the truth in this time of fake news. I can't distinguish fact from fiction. Ignorantly live in muse. Head buried like an ostrich in the sands of time. Can't distinguish fact from fiction when we're drowning in the lies. Taking on face value, research takes a back seat. Still can't distinguish fact from fiction because the bones have lost the meat. Sheep factor has kicked in, we read and we believe, still can't distinguish fact from fiction when we follow and don't lead. And when the rain has cleared, rose-tinted glasses put aside, still can't distinguish fact from fiction because the truth is hard to find. Thank you. Uh, 
I've written this other one, it's a bit of a silly one, taking myself back to my childhood, and it's called The Truth Battle. I once questioned the truth in a statement my mum made. I very quickly realised I'd made a mistake. It didn't take a minute before I was put in my place. What do I know at my tender age? After all, who was I to question? Ten years old, I was still deemed to be meddling. Should have been gospel, but her words I was reckoning put my foot in it with an out-of-place interjection. When I was 12, I thought I knew myself, thought I could deliver some home truths without damaging my health. Good job I'm not a gambler with an excess of cash and wealth because my words were like a sinking ship. I was nearly kicked out of the house. After all, what did I know? Nearly talked myself out of house and home. Had thoughts of being out on the street, out there cold and alone, regretting questioning the truth when I was shivering to the bone. My 15th birthday came. I'd matured, I'd grown. Now convinced in my opinion, I was wiser, I was bolder. I was grown a little older, so I went back to my mother. I thought I'd really told her, but the truth fell on deaf ears and she gave me the cold shoulder. After all, at only 15, I was still a youth. My knowledge was limited, yet to grow a wisdom tooth. I should have listened to my mother's words and listened to her soothes as I struggled to see the difference with her white lies and the truth. Thank you. So we have bass doing some tunes. Here we go. Make some noise. With or without the mic. What an amazing host. And excellent poetry as well. Props, honestly. Let's go, yeah. This is something off my last EP, produced by Michael Parkinson, if you know the name. Uh, yeah, it's just all about that conscious stuff, man. Give it a listen. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, especially if you like poetry. A lot of my stuff's quite transferable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Penning bars in my seminars Ain't no repetition resting in my repertoire I got the resonance bought by the renaissance I got the lemon jar feeling like a reservoir And now I'm feeling like a nebula star Formed from dust to illuminate the sky that I fumigate Too late already filled the room and then Cruise through the vapour, the great crusade the light Give me all your vinyl Quick midi cord to your spinal will open your pineal Rap disciple, I got the hip hops in the hearts, not all the big pops that pops in the charts. The man are all sweet like strawberry tarts. It's all a farce to show kids big cribs and nice cars. Like play your cards right, then you can become one of the stars. Let the water take you where you need to go. It's important when the fauna needs to grow. Natural order of the forces and the flow, falling with the snow, feeling like it talked to me, you know. Let the water take you where you need to go. It's important when the fauna needs to grow. Natural order of the forces and the flow. Falling with the snow, feeling like it talks to me. See, this life's just a journey. The kind of ride you gotta try to enjoy. Cause you could die when you're 30 without any joy. So I live my life now while I'm high and unemployed. Trying to climb out the void. Avoid the people playing mind games like Sigmund Freud. Turning populations to malignant droids. Turn a nation to an army like equipped and deployed. Destroying civilizations, treating people like a toy. But you ain't no soldier. Weren't made to do a thing that they told you. Earn paper, put your name in this folder. Then maybe you can get a bit of pay when you're older. When times get harder and the winters are colder. But I'm living free, me, myself and we. Well, as free as we can be when they tell us how to see. I kick back with a tree, expand infinitely. There's no definitive answer, so I'm just doing me. Let the water take you where you need to go. It's important when the fauna needs to grow. Natural order of the forces and the flow. Falling with the snow, feeling like it talks to me, you know. Let the water take you where you need to go. It's important when the fauna needs to grow. Natural order of the forces and the flow. Falling with the snow, feeling like it talks to me, you know. Let the water take you where you need to go. It's important when the fauna needs to grow. Natural order of the forces and the flow Falling with the snow Feeling like it talked to me, you know Let the water take you where you need to go It's important when the fauna need to grow Natural order of the forces and the flow Falling with the snow Feeling like it talked to me Please make some noise for everybody involved in putting this thing on tonight It's been a great night, I've had a great time And you, whoever did poetry, you all killed it, man Next one, please Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I 
feel the essence Lighting up fluorescence Tighten up my chest and the lessons are ever present Relax the Smith & Wesson A little red and methane Soak on that heavenly blessing I keep you guessing like The way I get up on a set and then subject the mic To all the contemplation in my brain I'm still yet to write The type of guy to get a bike and never exercise I'd rather find a Z to buy and sell a bit to get me high Shit Tell the truth, projecting through the roof I'm etching all my sketches in the sky to reflect the youth I yet the proof quite was hidden in the pudding But NASA did the same, so I ain't taking the blame huh. Yeah, no I ain't taking the blame Player one selected, I'm ahead of the game Now they're writing on my, it's like snakes on a plane All these people say they're different, I'm just hearing the same Shit, yo, uh I said when I say truth, you say dare Truth, truth True, true. I try my best to fly ahead, but I just light ahead and lie in bed. I'm feeling kinda red, just like a diver's head. With no scuba gear, progression through the year, a single breath, and I can tune your ear. I was a nuisance as a youth, but then we got through my mother's tears. I grew to care about my whereabouts or thereabouts. Yeah, I got through the fear and I've been through the doubt. Made it right here and I ain't striking out. I do what I'm about, I get what I deserve. I put love on the planet and that love gets returned. I don't the drama, that meeting will get adjourned. But I ain't too calm till the reef is being burned. If nothing's ever lost, then there's nothing ever learned. And if it ain't got a risk, then it ain't worth being earned. People talk, I rise above the hate churned and accelerate my particles that ain't con. Concerned. Thank you. We got time for one more. Yeah. B saying you want to do a verse? Yeah. Yeah. This is off the uh, the next album. Currently just doing the masters for that. Uh, the button at eight for day. I'm um, just trying to take away pain, bring light to my mind, a better way for the brain. Take the time and be kind. There's no hate. I don't want to fade away, I don't want to fade away uh, Trying to make it to my peace of mind Deep inside I love to hate until I redefine the meaning If life seemed to be ripping at the seam Instead of holding it together, use the thread to string a dream Beneath all the colours and elements of the earth You're worth more than any inheritance of your birth I surf any melody relative to my words An attempt bringing energy relative to my... Yo it's absurd that these people still complain But don't refrain from the actions that are bringing all the pain You could wait train with the force of a freight train And still need support from your people when that day came Sometimes I'm looking and all I see is a hate game The winner gets the prize of misery and a fake name Magazines about celebrity weight gains Sometimes I need to get away like the Jakes came Used to bun the eight for day I'm just trying to take away pain And bring light to my mind A better way for the brain Take my time and be kind There's no hate today I don't want to fade away I don't want to fade away Used to bun the eight for day I'm just trying to take away pain Bring light to my mind The better way for the brain Take my time and be kind There's no hate today I don't want to fade away I World's all my Mum's caught at the kids at the not fertile So many long nights, how could you take drugs and nocturnal, nocturnal Like a door you get nocturnal, your emotions to the worst Cause to reach a straight and narrow you need to live a learning curve God put us here for a reason, so I'm screaming do your worst Mum gave me love while at 15 I was stealing from a purse So that says to me that money ain't nothing you need or the happiness is the curse But since birth, the government they certified our existence, why? To spend our existence trying to be certified They say they're not it's real until it's written on paper No, it's an excuse for the high power not to do you a favour That's why I'm rolling until my lips are crisp like quavers, why? Cos I'm a lead, not follow, I used to still not borrow These men are making me laugh like live in the Apollo Live for today cos I don't know about tomorrow Yo. Thank you that's us, that's us, thank you. My truth are based on alcohol today because I tend to use my alcohol for my anxiety, my depression. And I'm currently stopping at the minute, so seeing how far I can go. I've called it alcohol today. Alcohol today. Be good, or does being good turn into taking risks? Questioning, overthinking, everything, playing pranks. Yes or no to peer pressure. Society sending messages, should do, should not. How much to drink? Glass, winks. Hello, dare you to take a sip. The truth, one sip is slippery slope for some. Dare you to pick me up. Go on, drink it. Fit in, relax, be sociable. 
Adverts on billboards, TV screens, magazines, radio, social media, cheap deals and snazzy slogans. Bars, clubs, restaurants, offering two for one cocktails, buy one glass, get one bottle of wine free. Free, free beer with food, happy hours, enticing the minds to drink. Day in, day out. Alcohol today engraved in each generation's society, daring the next generation to play the alcohol of tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> Anybody else that wants to take the open mic? Got anybody sitting there thinking, oh, I'll go home and wish I had. I can see some people nudging each other like, go on, go on, do it. You can stand behind there like this. If you're really shy, you can just sort of like, just kind of split your bars from behind here if you want so no one can see you. You can just kind of do a little thing and mumble and say there and truth and dare and have a little freestyle. <laughs> anybody? Cheese. Okay. <laughs> what was that, Joe? You said it's been a long, long time since you performed and you're feeling the truth coming through you. <laughs> Speak! <laughs> Can you raise your hand as Joe speaks his truth, please? And he's going to come on through. Would you like to even tell us a little bit about the project? Or Look, we've got all these hands up. Do we want Joe to speak? I'm going to have to just raise my hand. Take it to church, Joe. Come on. Come through. Come through. He's going to speak in tongues. He's going to throw himself down right now. Joe. 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 Louder. Joe. 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 Oh, he's looking at his watch all of a sudden like we've got to get out of here. So I've been told this is the truth, that we've got 10 minutes left. So if anybody wants to come up and do a freestyle rap or any poetry before we go, or we can just... <laughs> Does anybody do freestyle? Can anybody just kind of, can two people get up and kind of vibe off each other? Where's Beto? The spot? Go on then. Beto's going to do my truth. I'm not going to freestyle because I'll end up swearing and being rude. Um, Yo. They say that life is like a flag, so you need a pole to heist. But till it's up, no one will see it like a pole to guys, but it's still got the pole to climb. As well as thought and preparations, I think you, not we, because snakes will snatch your name. Like the World Wildlife Federation, in a day it changed from messing about on the pavement to station and facing two years. I'm free on probation, a crap occasion, Caucasian blazing and wondering where the day's been. A patient on a ward. Contemplating a BAFTA from a place where they jump like a rabbit does. Green like asparagus. Got the pip inside like a mansion does. But they just base it Neanderthals and bait like pasta. See, I'm that guy you don't want to know. But you've got to know. Flow economical, got astronomical, philosophical. Prophet spoken phenomenal words that will split your abdominal. I'm not sorry, fool, but I know it's illogical. Overthrow the throne, I'll have it disconnect your collarbone. Why are you trying to meet profit? Spoke turning on the BMX as I cruise down hollow roads. I'm far too loyal, bro, you're far too gullible. Power with your bung alone. So these men are just chatting, that's apparent. So who wants to be a millionaire? Not Chris Tarrant. I'm living my plan to change the planet, but I had no time to plan it. I used to jack mantle, jack pay my path when I rap. So yo, I've got a alcohol love song. <laughs> I think I first met her at about 14. And from that day that we met, I knew we was going to be. Because she stayed on my head every time that I went to sleep. She took away my nightmares and she allowed me to dream. The right figure, curved in the middle, round at the bottom. All my insecurities disappear when she had the top off. And anybody could get her, but that wasn't a problem. I made a mind. Sure enough, at any time she was there by my side. She showed more than average, inseparable. I would have thought we were married. <laughs> we went together like a horse and carriage. I was so close without her, I didn't think I could manage. But then with something this good, yeah, there's got to be a flaw. Standing on each other, trying to build 24. We showed as much love as we could, but we both wanted more. Because she was taking my son money and she was adding to my source. So we've been on and off for years. But now I was 18. And while I wanted to stay clean, she wanted to stay clean. Huh? She'd been the light to my ball for so long, but now she's trying to dart my night and things started to go wrong. For years I prolonged, but now I half wanted to gone. I wanted to achieve, she wanted to keep going as we had done. She started taking control of me and looked blind to the truth. I fought them hard times and long moves, she put me through the work. Nothing to, when I wasn't, to compare to when I didn't have you. 
But that stupidity had me stuck in a loop like a hamster on a wheel. She had me dancing as a puppet. Whatever she suggested, I automatically loved it. Even if I did it, I didn't think or follow my gut because I realised that I didn't have much, but she was enough until she broke my trust. She went against my will and now my wrists in cuffs left me emotionally fucked and I was violent, depressed, on drugs and hooked. Went to her once more for that final bit of love. Whereas before she would have gave a hug, she just left me a dead and walked away for like not a thing of being done. That was about alcohol. I can't see what I'm reading like a blind guy at a library. <laughs> As I emerge, I bring that energy like I was 39p. Catch me moving shady, looking slim, not trying to pull a whitey. <laughs> Sobriety's got society. But no, baby, you will never be subjected as someone who doesn't get me because a cocoon grew you to the angel that protects me. Now I'm wondering every single day why I'm never going to make it out of this way. Yeah, I'm wondering every single day how I'm ever going to make it out of this way. But I can't stop. I won't stop. I stroke Buddha. Rolling around the room on my bike, smoking up Buddha. Trying to find someone to help me or improve on my mental health, but nobody even tries. And that's funny because I nearly died. How many times have I got to tell them in a rhyme? But they don't even care. Not when you've been consigned, because all they do is sign the sign-off sheet and say goodbye. I'll be back in like two weeks. It'll be exactly the same. I'm freestyling this off the top of their heads, so know that this is pain. Because every single day I'm trying to window. And I look through it and I can't window, so I seem si hey, I seem that Adam broke, yo. I don't know what else to say. Truth or dare, but the truth is dare. Because I'm about to lose my hair if I can't find any proof for there. Yeah. Ch shut up, it's a library. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Sorry for the profanity. Okay, well, thank you for everybody coming out tonight and put in National Poetry Day and uh, Joe Budder's event today. Can't stop, won't stop, truth there, ahead of Goose Fair. And fuel education. And fuel education, I missed that one. And I keep saying, is it small green shoes? Little green shoes, small green shoes. That's important, very important. And thank you for putting up with me rambling. I get a bit carried away when I get up here sometimes. So I hope to see you all again in one way or another at some workshops or something and keep your eye out for I'm taking those postcards that you've wrote on and I'll type it up in the order that I read it out and get a copy over to Joe and one to the library to be displayed somewhere okay did you want any closing words to people thank you safe journey keep writing keep vibing blessed evening those who disguise their little white lies as the truth and then you realize you can see straight into their eyes truth dare double dare love kiss or promise let's just be honest the shortest or the longest it has to be the truth <laughs>